universe. The vast space containing all the celestial bodies is called the universe. The universe is the body containing the stars, planets, dust or gases. The universe is so huge that it is difficult to imagine its size. The celestial bodies, all the objects that belong to the sky are called celestial bodies. The sun, the moon and millions of bright objects all are known as celestial bodies. These are also called the heavenly bodies. Stars. These are celestial bodies which have their own light. Stars are very big celestial bodies. They look small because they are very far away from us. The sun is the nearest star to the earth. The stars are made up of burning gases. Constellation Of the millions and millions of stars in the sky, some of the stars seem to be arranged in beautiful patterns. Such patterns are called constellations. The common constellations are as follows. Ursa Major or Great Bear or Saptarishi. The Indian name of Ursa Major constellation is Saptarishi. It is called the Great Bear because its stars are arranged in such a way that they seem to form the outline of a big bear or the Great Bear. There are seven stars in this constellation. Ursa Minor constellation or Little Bear constellation. This constellation also has a group of seven stars like Ursa Major. But the stars are close together and less bright than those in Ursa Major. At the end of Ursa Minor is a very important star of average brightness which is called the Pole Star. Planets The 2006 definition of a planet by the International Astronomical Union IAU states that in the solar system a planet is a celestial body that is in orbit around the Sun has sufficient mass so that it assumes a hydrostatic equilibrium nearly round shape according to the definition there are currently eight planets the solar system the solar system consists of the Sun the eight planets and their satellites and thousands of other smaller heavenly bodies such as asteroids comets etc Earlier there were nine planets, but recent discoveries have proved that Pluto is no longer a planet. Smaller heavenly bodies revolve around the planets. They are called satellites. The Sun The Sun is the head of the solar family. It is the nearest star to the Earth. Like all stars, the Sun is made up of hot gases. Hydrogen and helium are the main gases that make up the Sun. The moving cloud of these gases is known as nebula. It has a surface temperature of about 6,000 degrees Celsius. Nuclear fusion is responsible for Sun's energy. Nuclear fusion is a process in which two light nuclei combine to form a heavy nucleus. The distance of the Sun from the Earth is about 150 million kilometers. The light from the Sun, which travels at a speed of about 300,000 kilometers per second, takes about eight minutes to reach us on the Earth. 
the planets. A planet is a celestial body which revolves around the sun and receives heat and light from it. All the eight planets of the solar system revolve around the sun in elliptical paths known as orbits. The planets also rotate on their own axes except Venus and Uranus all other planets rotate in the same direction in which they revolve. Time taken to complete one revolution depends on the distance of the planet from the Sun. Since Mercury is nearest to the Sun, it takes only about 88 days to complete one revolution. The amount of heat received by a planet depends on the distance of the planet from the Sun. Mercury is the planet closest to the Sun. So you may assume that it is the hottest planet of our solar system. But it is not true. While the temperature on Mercury can reach 465 degrees Celsius, it can also drop to frigid temperatures of minus 184 degrees Celsius. There is such a big variation in Mercury's temperature because the planet has no atmosphere and it spins relatively slowly compared to some of the other planets. Venus, the second closest planet to the Sun, has the highest average temperatures of any planet in our solar system, regularly reaching temperatures over 460 degrees Celsius. Venus is so hot because of its proximity to the Sun and its thick atmosphere. Venus's atmosphere is composed of thick clouds containing carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide. This creates a strong greenhouse effect trapping the Sun's heat. As the planet in our solar system get further away from the Sun, they generally get colder. So, Neptune, the eighth planet, is the coldest planet of our solar system. Asteroids Asteroids are very small planets of rock and metal which revolve around the Sun, mainly between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. They are believed to be the pieces of a planet which probably exploded after its birth. The largest asteroid is Ceres. Meteoroids A meteoroid is a rock or metallic debris which travels in outer space. Most meteoroids are no bigger than a pebble. If a meteoroid falls into the Earth's atmosphere, it will begin to heat up and start to glow. This is called a meteor. If you have ever seen a falling star, you're actually seeing a meteor. A meteor refers to the flash of light caused by debris, not the debris itself. Most of the original object burns up before it strikes the surface of the Earth. Any leftover part that does strike the Earth is called a meteorite. A meteorite can make a hole or crater in the ground when it hits it. The larger the meteorite, the bigger the hole. Satellites A satellite is a solid heavenly body that revolves around a planet. The Moon, for example, is a satellite of the Earth, which revolves around the Earth. There are more than 50 satellites in our solar system. Except Mercury and Venus, all the other planets have their own satellite. Like planets, the satellites do have no light of their own. They just reflect the light received from the Sun. Nowadays, 
the man-made satellites have also been released into the space. The main purpose of these satellites are to get information about the solar system, communication, weather monitoring and forecasting. Our Earth, the living planet. The Earth is the only planet in the solar system having life on it. The shape of our planet is more or less like a sphere that has been compressed. The shape of the Earth is unique. So the scientists have described it as geoid, which means Earth-like shape. The Earth appears blue in color when seen from the space. This is because of the presence of water. There are some factors that make life possible on Earth, making it a unique planet. The Earth has essential elements like carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen and oxygen which are important for different processes on the Earth like breathing, for plant growth, burning, etc. The Earth has right kind of temperature. The Earth has a protective blanket of ozone around it. Presence of water is also an important factor. It is necessary to sustain all types of life. The Earth's place in the universe. The Earth is one of the planets that revolve around the Sun. Millions of stars together form a group called galaxy. There are millions of galaxies in the whole universe. Our Sun and the Earth belong to a galaxy called the Milky Way Galaxy. The Earth revolves around the Sun in an elliptical path. The distances in the universe are measured in light years. The distance light travels in one year. The light from the nearest star Proxima Centauri to the Sun reaches Earth in about four years. The Moon, the Earth's companion. The Earth's satellite is known as the Moon. Its diameter is about one-fourth of the Earth's diameter and it is about 384,000 kilometers away from the Earth. It has no light of its own. It reflects the light of the Sun. The Moon revolves around the Earth in about 27 days and 8 hours. It takes exactly the same time for it to complete one rotation about its axis. That is why we see only one side of the Moon. There is no air or water on the Moon and it is very hot during the day while nights are very cold. <laughs>